Hello, and welcome to the 2021 Blackboard Catalyst Awards Ceremony. I'm Sharon Anthes, and I'm excited to be your host of this year's virtual awards ceremony. Since 2005, the Catalyst Awards program has honored innovation and excellence in the Blackboard global community where millions of educators and learners work every day to redefine what is possible when leveraging technology. We are here to celebrate those who made a difference in 2020, which was not an ordinary year. We're recognizing just a few of the amazing educators who helped learning continue, no matter what. We feel honored that we get to celebrate you today. This year, we received 130 nominations from 17 countries, our highest number yet. To all of our nominees, thank you for your contributions and commitment to providing better educational experiences for learners across the globe. This year, we're recognizing 58 Catalyst Award winners across seven categories. Congratulations on your accomplishments. We celebrate your excellence, leadership, passion, and innovative spirit that help raise the standard for the education industry. Okay, let's get started with the first category, inclusive education. This award honors those whose methods have ensured pedagogy, content, technology, and educational services are fully inclusive and supportive of all learners. Here are the nominees. And the winners are California State University Fresno. Catherine Biasindo converted course content through Agile and found both regular needs and special needs students benefited. Students learned and applied content easier, required less assistance, and earned higher scores with new accessibility options. The University of Lincoln Digital Education Team. They led an inclusive digital learning transformation across Blackboard, doubling the accessibility scores of their learning resources through a combination of mandated all staff training, updated consistent module templates with proactive promotion, innovative productivity tools, and strategic leadership. Indian River State College, Lucia Maramello, Katie Perfetta, Sharice Hobson. With a strategic plan and the adoption, testing, and implementation of Blackboard Ally, they improved the accessibility of online courses and created a flexible learning environment to meet the needs of all learners through the pandemic and beyond. Grand Valley State University, Julia Vandermullen. She has promoted accessibility within her department and throughout the university through use of Blackboard Ally, Quality Matters, and other tools. She's currently serving on the Active Learning Task Force for the university and participates in the ADA Advisory Committee. University of York eAccessibility Working Group. This team successfully shifted digital accessibility practice across the organization by using Cotter's eight-step process to plan for change, using evidence and data to drive behavior and evaluate the impact at the end of each phase. Angelo State University, Dara Anderson, Leslie Cesares, Rebecca Skade, Dallas Swafford. They provided a success roadmap and launched a culture of inclusion that began to shape how administration, faculty, staff, and students view appropriate accessibility through utilization of Blackboard course templates, closed captioning, and read speaker, implementation of Blackboard Ally, and a focus on inclusive content. Congratulations to all. Now let's hear from one of our winners. At the University of Lincoln, we have undertaken a coordinated series of activities to enhance awareness and adoption of accessible practice in teaching and learning. We launched a bespoke e-learning package to support university-wide mandatory training on digital accessibility. In addition, the course also features specific training on the use of Blackboard Ally. To help students to succeed and utilize the features of Ally, the university produced a series of student-facing video content titled Blackboard Productivity Hacks. And now let's move to our next category, Training and Professional Development. This award recognizes those that display an organization-wide dedication to innovative training and development programs for their faculty and staff. Here are the nominees. And the winners are 
Battergy Medical College, the e-learning unit, designed a robust plan for training and professional development that aligns with the implementation of Blackboard Ultra. It was achieved successfully by conducting several sessions embedded with the most recent e-learning technologies. Sorbonne University Abu Dhabi, Hamdan al Kabani and Kadir Alabsi, IT department, conducted an extensive training program university-wide for technology adoption and awareness for students and professors for completely moving to online learning. University of Derby, Best of Blend Staff Development Program, delivered an extensive staff development program during the summer of 2020 to support colleagues to deliver a high quality blended learning student experience. The course has enhanced staff capability and confidence in designing and delivering digital learning and has awarded over 700 certificates of completion. John Jay College of Criminal Justice, Department of Online Education and Support, and the Teaching and Learning Center. They created effective practices in online teaching, a three-week program to certify faculty in effective online teaching pedagogy and practical Blackboard usage. Experienced online faculty facilitated cohorts of their peers grouped by disciplines, resulting in certifying 339 faculty to teach online. Kentucky Community and Technical Colleges System, Julie Gatling Book, Kim Caleb's, Leah Parsons Simpson, KCTCS Online. This team won in this category for two initiatives. The first one, Cool Academy, is a year-long initiative to develop excellent online courses and instructors. It combines online instruction with mentorship to develop faculty who can design online courses using evidence-based decision-making. The second one is the Boot Camp for Hybrid Course Design, which focuses on rapid Blackboard Learn Ultra course design based on authentic activities where faculty use the tools in their own Ultra Template Sandbox course as they move throughout the boot camp. The result is a rapidly designed Ultra course based on best practices. Unitech Educational Innovation and Faculty Development Management Office. Due to the pandemic and the climate emergency that Honduras faced in 2020, Unitech implemented faculty training programs to strengthen the teaching and learning process, improve the quality of education, and face the challenges of the teleteaching modality. Universidad Privada del Norte, Carlos Villanueva, John Franco Jorge, Antonio Rodriguez Campra, empowered its teachers with data from Blackboard Analytics for Learn to manage over 100,000 online students. By giving away these tools and the right training, teachers were able to respond rapidly to students' needs. Parker University CTL Online Education Team. In October of 2019, Parker University closed after suffering a direct hit from an EF3 tornado. After constructing new classrooms out of the library space, bringing in seven large backup generators and making temporary office space, the university reopened only after one week. This effort allowed the campus to shift to fully online instruction, which later helped when COVID hit. University of San Diego Learning Design Center designed a training and professional development program to help faculty transition their on-site classes to remote format using a backward design course framework and Blackboard tools and pedagogy. Many faculty stated that they now have the knowledge and skills for enhanced remote teaching. University of Houston Class Office of Educational Technology designed an online teaching program for faculty, which is based on standards from Quality Matters, the Blackboard Exemplary Course Rubric, Accessibility Standards, and the Backward Design Approach. Davidson Academy Online, DAO Leadership Team. They utilize Blackboard to revolutionize and personalize observation and course reviews. The transparent nature of virtual classrooms allows for a more collaborative and authentic teacher-led experience. Mm, Alcora University, Deanship of E-Learning and Distance Education launched a series of qualitative training programs specialized in digital learning and developing communication between lecturers and students. It also provided a digital library and updated electronic courses to encourage continuous self-learning. Congratulations to all. Now let's hear from one of our winners. The Boot Camp for Hybrid Course Design. Faculty needed to quickly make hybrid courses and we offered the Blackboard Learn Ultra-based training to get them there. Hundreds of faculty members have designed thousands of courses using our methods, templates, and tools from this boot camp. We have developed an open access version of this training so other institutions can reap the same benefits we have. The result? Greater instructor confidence, improved course quality, and a better student experience. 
Our next category is student success. This award recognizes those whose creative program application has led to increased retention, completion, and improved student outcomes. Here are the nominees. And the winners are Nipsing University, the teaching hub, learning systems technologists and online learning partners. The learning systems technologists in this unit worked with instructors to redesign their on-site courses for quick transition online. They assisted in pinpointing at-risk students who required more support, as well as celebrating and praising highly engaged students for their efforts. The Online Learning Partners Program was newly created to offer a peer-to-peer -peer option where students could assist in Blackboard support as well. The Ideals Institute at Johns Hopkins University School of Education, the Workforce Development Team. This team increased engagement, completion, and student success of basic health and safety training required of all child care educators through the education of a rigorous yet personalized training experience. Eastern Kentucky University, the Office of eCampus Learning. This team collaborates with academic departments to offer a unique partnership between instructional designers, program advisors, and faculty to foster student learning and program support. University of St. Thomas, Freshman Symposium Planning Committee. In the fall of 2020, they transitioned their Freshman Symposium course to a fully online platform. Outcomes included student satisfaction with course content and delivery, student skills, and completion and retention rates. Congratulations to all. Now let's hear from one of our winners. Using the SCORM integration capability of Blackboard Learn, the team capitalized on responsive design features for the learners, many of whom rely solely on mobile devices for training. The results of the transformation far exceeded the main objectives. The success of the basic health and safety training resulted in over 5,000 child care providers being trained in the 10-month period, and over a 35-week period, over 30,000 child care providers, substitute teachers, and volunteers successfully completed the training. The next category is Optimizing the Student Experience. This award honors those whose educational and administrative innovations have markedly improved the total learner experience. Here are the nominees. And the winners in this category are Eastern Kentucky University, Department of Occupational Science and Occupational Therapy, and the Office of eCampus Learning. The Office of eCampus Learning collaborated with academic departments to offer a unique partnership between instructional designers, program advisors, and the faculty to foster student learning and program support. Notre Dame University Louise, Danny Azee, member of the Office of Information Technology and University eLearning Center. During the lockdown due to COVID-19 pandemic outbreak, the Office of Admissions requested from the Office of Information Technology a solution to organize the online English entrance tests for 600 applicants within three working days. They came up with a zero budget solution relying on existing human and technological resources available at NDU. Cowley College Distance Learning Team the team supported their strategic initiative of improving online course quality and consistency by developing standardized course shell menus and an integrated syllabus template reinforced by the Quality Matters rubric standards. University of Derby, Student Virtual Induction Project Team. The team created a central online virtual induction in Blackboard to welcome both new and returning students. Over 16,500 students have access to virtual induction and over 80% of students have been active in the course. Universidad Privada del Norte, Carlos Raul Oliveira, Adriana Yenga, Antonio Rodriguez Campra, and John Franco Jorge. UPN has a small and specialized support team integrating data mining whose objective is to motivate and provide support to first-year students during the academic period in order to have low dropout rates and improve student satisfaction with the virtual service. Indian River State College, IRSC Global, and the Health and Wellness Center. The team created a Blackboard organization that served as a hub of support during the pandemic, bringing holistic well-being resources and services to students. George Brown College, 
ITS Infrastructure and Operations, and the CCET Industry Liaison Office Team. The pandemic had presented operational challenges for in-person events such as their industry career fair. After much research and consultation, Michelle Hahn engaged ITS to determine and develop a robust and reusable solution. Congratulations to all. Now let's hear from one of our winners. Notre Dame University Loise has always championed new ways of learning, in part driven by program and institutional accreditation. We took advantage of Blackboard teachers to create the tests and track the applicants. Within two weeks, we were able to build a simple, accessible, secure, and accommodating solution that met our major requirements. We will now be taking a short break, and we invite you to stay tuned for the second part of the ceremony.